Hi there guys, so in this video we're going to set up hosting and domain for your brand and for your website. So obviously I'm going to assume you don't have that set up yet for this video. So obviously there's quite a few options. If you look up hosting companies in South Africa, you've probably done this already. There's so many. Uh, the popular ones are Ex Nilo, uh, and then there's Host Africa, there's Afrios, there's uh, Access in Port Elizabeth. There's so, there's so many of them, right? Uh, there's Elite Host, um, but the one that I go for specifically, uh, which I've been using now for about two years for all my clients, um, I send them all there to set up their hosting, is IVE Cloud. Reason being is that they, um, I've tried pretty much all the others, and these guys have just the best um, service in my experience, personally. Uh, the other, the big guys that I mentioned, they also have really good service, okay? But the thing I like about these guys is that I'm personally a very, uh, well, I'm not a very corporate type guy, so I'm, I'm more relaxed. So I like that vibe, and these guys, their service I find is more personal, We've got more, more of a personal touch. So if you want to test them out, what you do is you just go and you start a chat, and uh, you just check out quickly you can get a response and um, at the moment it's 540 and I think as far as I understand their service is I think 24 7 um, I'm not sure because I haven't exactly used their service one o'clock in the morning but I've never had an issue getting help that's the point and uh, they are super super helpful and again they get that personal touch which is so cool so there's Theo he's gonna come on I don't wanna uh, uh, <laughs> I just spoke to him now about something else uh, just testing Okay, so you go hosting. This is how you set it up, okay? So WordPress hosting. I'm assuming you're going to go with WordPress. That's the platform that I use. Uh, that's the most widely used um, platform for building a website, okay, especially like for a local business. Now, what we're going to do is for a kind of like a static website. So basically, if you're a, a local service provider and you just want a website to represent your company, then the beginner um plan is more than good enough. This is 49 Rand. If you're going to go with the annual plan, so it's 49 Rand times 12, which you pay today, okay, when you, you pay now, or you can go for the monthly plan, which is 66 Rand per month, okay? That's the difference. So you do save a decent amount on the annual, okay? Now, uh, I'm just going to say monthly for now. Let's just say monthly, 66 Rand. Now, if you, this one over here, if you... Um, are going to do an e-commerce website um, which then also you got say like 150 200 products then you want to look at the blogger option uh, which is, has the capacity to um to to work with what you need okay so anyway we're going to look at this one so that's one website uh, it's two professional email accounts so you do like info at your website or it's maybe quote at you know uh, or whatever you want it to be so that's two of those unlimited web traffic Free SSL certificate, this is critically important, okay, because um, with regards to search engine rankings later on, Google's specifically said that you must have an SSL certificate. And also, it also indicates to uh, the people coming to your website that you've got a safe website, okay? So let's just say we go order now. So this is where you type in the domain to see if it's available. So I'm just going to say... You'd put in your actual domain, whatever your business name is, whatever, you know, what that is. And then you just leave out the .co because it's already here. So you just check. So this is available. Uh, 74 Rand per year. That's the fee for that. Okay. So you go and continue. That'll give you the breakdown of the host, what, what you are buying essentially. So yeah, you just confirm again. Do you want it to be... The annual price, so it's 49 Rand times 12 you pay now, or do you want it to be the 66 Rand per month, month to month? Okay, personally, I mean, I've got a lot of customers, and for myself personally, I just purchased a month, uh, the 12 month, quite honestly, it's just simpler, okay? But uh, let's just check that. Now, with regards to the dedicated IP, uh, that just means that what you got here is shared hosting, so you sh it's a shared hosting account versus your own dedicated IP, and that's just your personal preference. Um, that's completely up to you. Um, personally, I would I would take it so that you've got your own IP address and um, 
and that uh, if anything has to happen to the shared hosting account, which is this, which this is on, then you are safe because you've got your own dedicated IP. So personally, I will just go with that. I mean, it's an extra 35 rand per month for that extra peace of mind. Cloudflare, uh, ignore this, no need. And then this is the breakdown. So you continue. So you got uh, pro rata today because today is the eighth. So I'm paying for pro rata, and then monthly is a hundred rand per month, and the annual charge. So the hundred rands for the hosting, and the annual charge is for the um, domain. Okay. If I was to go back and make this the annual fee, okay, this is like a thousand rand per year. So I, you know, if you're paying monthly versus the annual fee, it saves you about 300 rand by paying the once off annual fee. Uh, so saves you 300 bucks a year, basically. So that's up to you. You can decide that. Okay. Uh, enter promo code. Let me just check something quickly. Uh, I was going to see if I can get your promo code quickly. Oh my, let's just do this. Do you see a promo code? You just got to check if there is a promo code. Uh, there might be sometimes. Uh, okay, not at the moment. So just do yourself a favor and just have a look around by the hosting, um, the page itself, if there's any promo codes that come up, or you can just ask them in the live chat. You see here? Live chat 24-7, yeah, so they are 24-7. It's pretty cool. So anyway, um, that's fine. So then you just go and you check out and ignore everything else there. And then just you just normally you, you pay like you would anything else online. You just check out over here, and that's it. Um, and then obviously you just go here. You decide you pay by credit card, sorry, PayPal, EFT, you know, you decide credit card or whatever, and then agree. I'm not a robot and you complete your order. Then what you do is you'll have your order complete. Then you'll have full ownership of your hosting. You'll have full ownership of your domain name, um, which is what you need to do as a business owner. You need to own the, you do not ever let somebody else, um, don't go through somebody else. Don't let somebody be a middleman for you like myself. Like I'm a freelancer. I could easily just take your money, charge you more, get your hosting and domain, and then I own your domain and your hosting and you don't want that to happen. Okay. <laughs> so, um, um, you complete your order. Then what you do is you get your um, your cPanel login details will be sent to you via email. at cPanel. Let me spell it for you. cPanel. You'll see it in your um, yeah cPanel. You'll see that in your in your uh, welcome email from IVE Cloud. Then that login details that they give you, you can give that to your web designer who's going to go ahead and launch your website for you. You'll do it from your cPanel. Uh, that doesn't give him access to your hosting account. That's still yours and it's controlled. Um, the cPanel just allows him to go in and actually launch the website for you. Okay, that's it. If you have any questions about the hosting, uh, you know, uh, shout and just let me know. I'll also do a video on um, uh, setting up your hosting if you already have a domain name. So it's a slightly different process. Okay.